What's good everybody? It's your boy 310 back again with another video. Today we are here at Disneyland once again as always. But today we're actually doing the Food and Wine Festival at DCA. We're gonna eat some good food, drink some drinks, and just enjoy our day, right? Right Andy? Yeah. Yeah, right. So I'm actually starving right now. I haven't eaten breakfast. We're just waiting on Andy's sister Jam. She was in our last video, so if you haven't seen that one, go ahead and check it out. But yeah, uh, while well, we're just sitting here waiting for Jam in front of the DCA entrance, and we'll catch you guys inside the park. Here comes Jam, guys! Woo! I'm home. Yay! You're home. <laughs> So we are inside of DCA, walking over to, I don't, where do they sell this thing, man? Well, I'll just take you guys, oh, I know where. I'll take you guys there, uh, show, show, I guess, video of me purchasing the pass. So, yep, see you there. Yep, you know what it is. Shoe check with your boy, 310. I got the wavies on. Jam's got the platform uh, chucks, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. And Andy got her damn brand new or what? <laughs> Sheesh, <laughs> dude. Oh woman. my God, who's, who's woman's is this? Oh my God, <laughs> dripping. She's been wanting these for the longest. So yep, there you go, Andy. Merry Christmas. So they accept the magic key pass just in case you guys don't know. These are gonna be good for kids for fortune signs only. The items you can get with the pass are gonna be right here on this menu. Alcoholic beverages. So there's the sip and savor pass, Jam got one too. It looks the same as before. Um, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, I did it for the holiday one and the Lunar New Year one. Basically they have comes with the tabs and um, when you get to the booth you pull it out whenever they ask you to. Make sure not to pull it out before or else it won't count. There's the menu. So yeah, we'll be checking it out. I guess I'm gonna be the one holding on to this. So, yep, we're just gonna figure out what we're gonna eat now. We are here at the Delish booth. It's right across from the waterfall. You can kind of see it behind me. I think I'm gonna grab the potato puffs. Maybe the Cubano slider, I'm not sure yet. But for sure, the potato puffs. Those look really good. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. You too. Ooh. This is everybody the black and tan beef potato puffs that looks really good i can't wait to try this one so we ordered more food uh, we actually you're actually allowed to order food from one booth and pick up at another booth so we're actually gonna uh, gonna make our way to the la style booth where we got some food from there Thank you. So we found some sweets here and we are about to try some of this yummy ass food. Ready Jam? Yes, it's all ready. Woo! Time for breakfast everybody. <laughs> so then here's all the food everybody. This is the black and tan tater tots. This is the glazed barbecue pork belly. And this is the impossible ground beef gito. And I believe that's how it's pronounced, right? Gito. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to munch this and bon appetit, everybody. All right, here's the black tan beef potato puffs. So. Wow. I made a second round of this. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad, it's um, the, the meat is really good. And the combination with the tater tots gives it a little bit of a flavor boost. But you know, it's, it's not bad, I'll give it that. So yeah, let me try this macaroni salad, even though I'm not always a fan of, no. Yep, that's good macaroni salad. It reminds me of the, the one from like Hawaiian barbecue. And then Try this. Um, this is the pork belly. Mm. Oh god! Look at that. I got one with all the fat. <laughs> so yeah, 
the barbecue pork belly is really good. I'm glad I got one with the fat because that's how you want to eat it when you eat meat. This, when you eat that with the fat, is oh, it's so juicy. It's really good. It's really good. Now you gotta try the vegan one. I'm not gonna try that one. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll be the vegan critic. Yeah, so Jam is gonna be our vegan critic for the day because you know that's her. That's sort of what she's eating right now. So there's that. I didn't get some of the flatbread. But I got most of it. Mm -hmm. And this one's the gyro, guys. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And the, this. You know what? Let me, let me just try. I don't know what this is, but it reminds me of corn nuts. Corn nuts? Yeah, <laughs> it does. Screw it. Screw it. I'm gonna try Impossible B for the first time in my life. <laughs> I think. You know, they say that like when it's impossible or whatever, that it tastes just like it. To me, it doesn't. You can, you can, you can tell it's artificial or whatever. So I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. So I like it. I, like I, it? I don't taste the difference. <laughs> you don't taste the, I do. Mm -hmm. I can taste the difference. So, so yeah, out of I mean everything, I think the the barbecue glaze uh, pork belly was my favorite so far of of the items that we've tried. That was a big old bite, Andy. How is it? The tzatziki sauce. The tzatziki sauce is really good. Yeah. What about the little? Mm, you're right. They little taste corn like nuts. corn nuts. <laughs> the flatbread is nice and. Is it soft? soft. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yep. There's the gyro. <laughs> oh. It's bad. <laughs> this. this. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good, Jan. What is this? The mescalero, watermelon, sangria, margarita. Hey, okay. Cheers, brother. Cheers. I'll get my drink right now. <laughs> There's a sausage dog. Looks pretty good. It looks like a pretzel bread. Right? And I got me a beer. Una chalita. Cheers. Cheers. Una chalita para este calor. <laughs> cool. So, some good news, everybody. We actually are in line, or we went to the walk up line for the Magic City Terrace. Um, obviously, that we've been there before. Uh, I think I've done a video about that. Uh, basically, this area is only reserved for people that have the magic key. And since we just got food and stuff, uh, we kind of have to eat it before we go in. So um, I'm going to eat this hot dog real quick and drink this chelita real quick. So here's the hot dog, guys. Um, it does have tomatoes, so you know what? Whatever. I'm not going to I'm not gonna pick them out. Bruh. You, you didn't see nothing. <laughs> It's a good hot dog. Ooh, the the sausage has a little kick to it, I think, or something tastes something tastes spicy. But yeah, the cheese is it's very cheesy, guys. So if you love cheese, you're gonna love this thing. It has tomatoes and onion crust and other little stuff, and the bread is kind of like a pretzel bread, so very nice and thick and kind of soft too. But yeah, overall, a really a pretty good dog. Along with some beer, I got the, I think it was called the Radiant Blank Slate. It's a wheat beer. Yep. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. And actually, guys, my mistake, these aren't tomatoes. These are like red peppers. So I think that's what the spicy part of the hot dog is, these peppers. So, yep, good. All right, so Andy just got the text that our table is ready at the Magic Key Terrace. So we'll see you up there. So we just got seated at our table and we are going to look over the menu, look over the drinks that we're going to get 
and whatever we end up getting, I'll show you guys what we got. So our drinks are here. I got the nutmeg, which is the house drink that they had. I don't remember what it had, but it basically is Bailey's with some dark rum liquor. And I forgot exactly what, but it's basically a coffee-ish style drink. Jam got the 54321, which is an OG drink for all my OG Disney peeps. Cove Bar. From Cove Bar, if you remember. And then Andy. She got herself the Heimlich Choo Choo Train. It looked like this, but I already mixed it in. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah she that was the it. syrup down there, and yep. then that's the agua fresca, the watermelon, the yeah. sandia. So, yeah, you can mix that drink up, and it just ends up being a watermelon drink with a big old watermelon. So, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Bing. So, just leaving the Magic Key Terrace, and we just had one drink, you know, nothing too crazy. We didn't get any food or anything, but right now we're gonna stop by one of the other booths and get some more food. So here's the next item on the docket. This is a beef tenderloin slider. And Andy got a blueberry lemonade? A blackberry oh, lavender. Black, oh, blackberry lemonade. Lavender so. lemonade. Okay, okay, blackberry lavender lemonade. There you go. So, yep, here it is. Huh. So the meat's really good, the tenderloin. For some reason, this tastes like, it's, I know it's cheese type of thing, but it gives me mashed potato vibes. And, uh, and with the onion, I could do without the onion, but it's still not bad. All of, all of it together, I guess, just give it a good flavor combination. But overall, this one, this one was pretty decent. Not too bad. Take another bite. Alright, I'm gonna try Andy's lemonade, the black blackberry lavender. Oh, it tastes like you don't taste the lemonade. You mostly taste the the blackberry, I guess, and the lavender. But it, I guess it is a little sour. But yeah, definitely refreshing. I recommend this on a hot day with some with some vodka. We found a booth that has hogs of food and wine merch. If you guys are interested, this hoodie looks kind of nice or is it a zip up? Oh yeah, it's a zip up. I'm not a fan of zip ups. Yeah, some stuff, shirts, gears, food jerseys, bunch of different, oh, an apron. This one's kind of cool. Yep, and cups, wine glasses, if you will. They have the same thing over here. And then the special pin, it looks like. That's what that looks like. Yeah, pretty small booth if you guys are interested. Has a nice cap. Whoa, so the artichoke toast, huh? That looks crazy, Jam. That looks kind of good. Yeah, it does look kind of good. <laughs> All right, everybody. So the girls got themselves some food. Jam got the artichoke toast from Artichokes. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. Just some toast with like some, I guess, artichoke stuff. Olives. Olives. Yeah, and it smells pretty strong too. Yeah, I, I can smell it from here. So yeah, looks, so looks beware. Looks, <laughs> beware. <laughs> looks cool. Look, I mean, yeah, I'll probably try it too. Then Andy got herself the empanada. empanada chile relleno. Okay, from that one's from Peppers Caliente. Yep. Uh, yep. That's, both uh, vegan. Both, both vegan options, by yeah. the way. So yeah, we'll see what the girls think about these. All right, here's Andy trying the empanada. And then Jam trying the toast. Tastes like the way mom makes them. You can mostly taste the olives. Mostly olives, you said? Mm. Okay, and then you like this. It reminds me very homemade. Yeah. Like I could taste the, what is it? The, is it the chile? And then the cheese inside. Okay. And then this bread. Um, What would you call this? Oh yeah, just the breading, I guess. That's yeah. good. And I'm not sure what the sauce is, but. Yeah, it looks like chipotle or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I mean, it looks like the girls enjoyed it. Their items for the most part. So right. there you go. There you have it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Then they're going to try. Jam's going to try the empanada. See, I almost broke it. Sounds like you like it. Yeah. Oh, it has like some bits of the chili. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, now you try the toast. Okay. I thought the olives were gonna be like overwhelming. Yeah. Not at all. No. 
Okay. Cool. All right, so bone apple tea, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy and Max are here, and they're fishing. Yeah. So we're sitting here outside the award winner's place on the little seating area. And we ran into, or we didn't run into a friend. We were going to meet up with a friend. And it's Johnny. Hey, family. <laughs> Say what's up to hey Johnny, guys. everybody. Yep, Johnny's here. He's the homie. Super uh, excited. Super excited, right? Yep. Um, he just bought a hot dog at the award winner's place and show, show, show the family the bake the street dog, right? There you go. <laughs> yep. So it's a bacon street dog, and we're gonna have. Oh, I'm gonna have a bite of his 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 wiener. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try some glizzy. All right, so here's Johnny's glizzy, guys. Yeah, it's my wiener, guys. <laughs> How is it? Hmm. It's not what you expect from like the regular street dog, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, so the bacon and the... It's pretty light actually. Mm -hmm. for, like it looks heavy, but it's pretty... Oh light. yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Overall, the flavor is good though. Um, I like the, the peppers and the bell peppers and the onions. You want to try the fries? These are pretty yeah, good. I'll try the fries. These look like chips. They're hot. Ooh. Mm -hmm. They're good. Nice and toasty. You know what we need is some well, chips though. Cool. What's up, Goofy? What's cooking? Oh, pizza? Oh, I love pizza. Whoa, dude, you're cooking everything today, huh? Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa. Cake? I love cake. Just been chilling around the park and we needed a drink, so I got the whiskey sour here at the Hollywood Studios. Johnny guys, got us a michelada. A michelada. What kind of beer tomato. is it? It's got a Modelo and Modelo tomato soup. soup. Modelo <laughs> and tomato soup. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Soup. Cheers. Ah, refreshing for sure. Just a quick update. Honestly, we've just been doing, we did the Luigi ride, we did the Turtle Talk with Crush. Uh, we've done a couple of other things that we haven't really been doing the food and wine festival we're actually going back um, we're here at the festival beer garden and we're probably just going to check this area out and see what foods we get johnny got me on a little beer oh yeah johnny got me a beer thank you my boy cheers cheers bro happy disney day Happy Disney Day indeed, guys. All right, everybody, this is a char siu rib with some steamed rice and some salad right there. So I'm gonna chow this down. So here's my reaction to the ribs. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a bone. <laughs> Damn, this is really good. This is actually Chinese inspired. Excuse me, has spit. Chinese inspired ribs. I guess the glaze tastes very. It kind of reminds me of orange chicken, kind of, or like teriyaki chicken. But it's really good. Thumbs up. What you got there, Jam? I got an impossible gyro. 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 Okay. Gyro. Oh, that looks huge and delicious, so it smells delicious. enjoy. Please. I'll take, take a quick bite, just, bon just for the people. Just for the people. Bigger. You didn't even take a bite of the impossible. <laughs> <I know. laughs> she's like, she's oh, she took a little baby bite, <laughs> but it's safe to say, I think she likes it. <laughs> All right, Jam, enjoy. Don't be, don't be. What's up, everybody? Adrian here. Unfortunately, for some reason, the remaining clips of my video had no sound. So what I'm going to do here is I'm basically showing you a b-roll of the rest of the items that I got and yeah just let the rest of the tape roll. So yeah after this the video will pretty much end so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and yeah that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.